In this video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting involving negative numbers. So here we've got minus 3 plus 4. So if I was to do minus 3 plus 4, I'd start at minus 3, and adding 4, remember it's going to go it's going to get 4 larger, so it's going to go 4 to the right. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer would be 1. Okay, so you just count out 4 from minus 3. The question minus 2 subtract 4, or you're going to be at minus 2, and you're going to subtract 4, which means you're going to go 4 to the left. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3. 3, 4. So your answer would be minus 6. Okay, that's, that's quite straightforward. Whenever you've got a minus sign at the front of the, the question and you're adding subtracting to it, you just either go up or down. Now, here, let's have a look at what happens whenever you have two signs directly beside each other. So here you've got the plus and the plus, so the plus and the, the add and the positive sign. Uh, you've got the plus and the minus, so the, plus, uh, the add and the negative sign. Uh, the subtract and the positive sign are the, the minus and the plus. And what happens whenever you get a minus and a minus, or a minus and a negative sign? Okay, so well, let's look at what happens whenever you have two signs directly beside each other. So, this <clears throat> this is six add positive two. Well, technically, you wouldn't really write that something like that if you were doing that in primary school. Six add positive two would be just six plus two, and six plus two, or well, six plus two is it? So there, you'd just be adding. Okay, six add minus two. Well, if you're adding a minus number, it's actually going to get smaller. So whenever you add a minus 2, it actually means you're going to subtract 2. So 6 subtract 2 is 4. Now, 6 take away a positive 2. Well, I would just probably say 6 take away 2. And 6 take away 2 is 4, like normal. Whenever you just take away a positive number, you're just taking away a number, so it's going to get smaller. And finally, whenever you subtract a negative number, well... S subtracting a minus will actually mean that you're going to add it. So you're going to do 6 plus 2, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So whenever you have two signs that are directly beside each other that are the same, so a plus and a plus, or a minus and a minus, you add. So I would just replace them with a plus sign. And if you have two signs that are beside directly beside each other that are different to each other, you replace it with one subtract sign. So let's have a look at some examples. Whenever you're adding and subtracting with negatives, if you've got two signs that are directly beside each other, you may want to replace them with one sign. So if you had two positives beside each other, in other words, if you're adding a positive number, you'd replace it with just a plus sign. If you are adding a negative number, you can just replace it with a subtract sign. If you're subtracting a positive number, again, you can just replace it with a subtract sign. And if you're subtracting a negative number, you'd replace it just with an add sign. So in other words, if you've got two signs that are the same as each other, so a plus and a plus and a minus and a minus, you put in a plus sign. So if they're the same sides, signs, you put in a plus. But if they're different signs, then you're going to put in a subtract. Okay, in our first question, we've got 12 add negative 2. So because we've got two signs that are directly beside each other, you want to replace them with one single sign. They're different to each other, so you're going to put in a subtract sign. So you're going to get 12 subtract 2. 12 subtract 2 is equal to 10. In the next one, you've got 10 subtract negative 2. So again, you've got two signs that are directly beside each other. So you're going to replace those two minus signs, or the subtract and a negative or two minuses, with a plus. So you're going to do 10 plus 2, and 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Okay, we've got two more examples. Uh, we've got minus 2 subtract minus 4. Okay, so you've got... Um, Two signs here directly beside each other. Notice that the minus sign in front of the two is not directly beside another sign, so we're just going to leave that as it is. So you're going to replace these two minuses with a plus. So the sum becomes minus 2 plus 4. So if you've got 4 for minus 2, well, it's going to be minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So the answer would be 2. And again, here you've got minus 3 plus minus 2. So again, you've got two signs here directly beside each other. So you replace those. Because they're different to each other, you do a subtract. So you've got minus 3, subtract 2. That means you're going to go 2 down from minus 3. So remember, whenever you're subtracting from a minus, you're going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go down, it's going to go to the left. So then it'll go minus 4, minus 5. So that would be minus 5. And just to remind you, if you don't have two signs directly beside each other, you don't change the signs. So here you've got minus 4, take away 2. So minus 4 take away 2 would mean you're going to go for 2 lower, so it's going to be minus 5, minus 6. So the answer here would be minus 6. Some people try to make a, uh, some people make a mistake here trying to change the signs, but it's only whenever you've got two signs directly beside each other you replace them.